Let me try to solve one of the problems with a Stanley 78. In this video, I will try to show my solution to the common problem for the Stanley 78. And uh, the problem is uh, a missing fence. So this is what uh, I basically invented. Uh, instead of going and trying to buy something, I decided to uh, come up with some uh, fence that can be used instead. Uh, surprisingly, it wasn't that hard to come up with this uh, reasonably simple design. I just uh, got a bunch of scraps. I'll try to link uh, the very simple sketch uh, for this uh, for this fence. But uh, essentially, this is just a few pieces. Uh, you need a piece <laughs> that is long enough. I mean, this is three quarters or something, and ideally, it can be as long as the plane or it can be longer than the plane. Uh, the longer you have it, uh, the better fence you have. I mean, uh, we have a reference edge, uh, and the longer this fence, then the easier it is to guide yourself uh, even on a smaller piece. So that's kind of a good point. Uh, I just have uh, this piece laying around, and uh, that's it. Uh, then uh, there's another small piece, is something like this, and uh, some hardware. So the, one of the uh, critical parts that I was uh, very afraid when I start thinking about this is uh, some something that will come uh, to this one. Uh, but essentially, I found out that uh, some standard uh, threaded rod is actually almost fits into this slot. Uh, thread is actually a little bit different uh, from uh, the standard one, the one that I bought, but it's not that much different. And, and I think I used some coarse uh, tap just to tap it a little bit more, uh, just try, go to the store, try to play if, uh, with a few uh, routes or a few balls that you can find there. Uh, there's, uh, I think this one is standard. So this is not the uh, Stanley weird uh, thread that is uh, in, on uh, Stanley foreplay. So basically that's the most critical part that you need to have. So you just need to secure this part. And now you have ability to secure something to the plane. Uh, so that something is this piece. So this is kind of one of the critical pieces that have to be very tied to the plane so it can actually be a reference that you can attach something else. Uh, so the design, again, it's very, very simple. Uh, it's almost as simple as uh, the other one. With one exception, I had to uh, cut out uh, this part uh, for the blade. So the blade on the Stanley 78 and the chip breaker, it's not... 100% uh, flush uh, with the body. It's kind of intentional uh, part of it. Uh, so you have to have uh, some play or ability to move this blade a little bit out of the of, of the body on, on this side. Uh, same uh, with the uh, with the cap. So the cap not necessarily flush with the body. So you have to be able to have some uh, some space. So after you have this rod, after you have this piece. Uh, this is just a drill to hold sort of, for the carriage bolts, and there's nothing special about them. Uh, you can attach this piece to the plane, and you can actually secure it on hand. So now it's really tied to the plane, so it's really parallel, and you don't need to worry about uh, this one. So now you have these two pieces, so, and then the final piece is actual fence. So what is important here is... Uh, so this side has to be perpendicular to this side and be actually very, very straight, so you have to be very, very careful in this part. And now, the wider you have this part, uh, the more adjustments uh, you can make. Oh, it almost worked. <laughs> Oh, I forgot uh, about one, one more thing. Uh, I actually made a notch here too, uh, for the same reason that you have to have a notch for the blade. Otherwise, the blade will be just not be able to stick out of uh, of the plane body. Uh, so, and this one is just uh, to go to go there. Uh, so let me get back, and then just simple, simple. Uh, so. The wider you have this notch, so the more adjustments uh, you can have. And uh, I can actually, uh, I actually have a problem with my uh, version because my piece, my scrap wasn't uh, wide enough. I have a limit on the smallest uh, rabbit I can make. Oh, so now this is the fence. Uh, 
Uh, and it's actually what I realized after playing with this a little bit. It doesn't really matter if it's uh, straight, not straight, if it's like strictly parallel or not parallel. It's really about the length between this blade protrusion and uh, the fence at this particular point. Uh, so this is the actual point of the adjustments. But if you can make it parallel, I mean, it's, it will be just a little bit easier on, on your side to, to work. So what I was uh, trying to say, this is the minimal uh, rabbit I can make because my, uh, my piece is not wide enough. Uh, so I would recommend to use a little bit wider piece. But in any case, that's basically the whole construction. There's nothing special. I'm really, really happy how it ended up uh, because I have been using it for to, to make very small boxes, and it was pretty fun. Uh, I already set up a spur in there, uh, so I can just do a small demonstration. Uh, so this is just a scrap of something. I have a very small piece in here, and I'll just try to show my... So as you can see, it's really easy to use, and because the length of the um, fence is quite large, I don't need to worry about even a really small piece because it's referencing the whole thing uh, in and out. Uh, so, yeah, play this one, this one. Uh, of course, you have to be careful with you uh, pushing against the fence so you kind of stay parallel uh, to the body of the plane. So, uh, so not only this controls the uh, vertical part, but also fence uh, helping you to, uh, to control. So the wider you have this part, the more reference, spa reference space you have. Uh, so if you have more than uh, three quarter of inch uh, for the width of of this part, uh, the better, uh, but even three quarters of the inches is perfectly fine. But see, you already did very nicely. Very quickly, I got the, to the sun. Um, I do have a problem, at least with my experiment. I'm not exactly doing the right depth, uh, or the equal depth on everything, but uh, if you have a depth gauge or depth stop on this one, then it will solve the problem. Or you simply have to be very careful. Uh, just put a marking gauge for the depth that you that you have, and just uh, shoot for that depth and just be careful when you're looking at it. Uh, one of the problems that I have is uh, shavings I getting stuck in there. Uh, so most likely I will. I need to make this uh, this piece smaller, or at least make a bigger notch, or just like through notch uh, in here, so kind of the shavings can be easily separate. But now you can see they're stuck in there, and it's really really hard uh, to get them out. There is no space on this side, but on this side it's really hard to get them uh, out. But it's not uh, that a big problem. So this is the solution uh, if you don't have a, a fence for the Stanley seventy eight. Uh, or if you don't want to buy or like chase on eBay uh, for the original parts. Uh, this is a reasonable small project that you can do I don't know, in the evening uh, if you have enough hardware and everything would be working as in this piece. So uh, I hope it was interesting. So if you like this video, subscribe. <laughs> See you next video then.